Hey there, I'm Brandon, and this is the Dirk Church Devotional. So the other day, for whatever reason, I was thinking about fairy tales. And as I thought about fairy tales, I, I started to realize that there's a number of them that follow kind of the same storylines, kind of like the, the Hallmark Christmas movies. It follows the same line. You've got a princess who is in trouble. She ends up being locked up or hidden away or or guarded. Sometimes she's sent away by parents. Sometimes it's it's a, an issue of her own doing. And the only way that she can be rescued is by her one true love to come in and and defeat the dragon and break down the walls and and carry her off to live happily ever after. Now, I don't know if the Brothers Grimm were believers. I don't know if the other writers of fairy tales were intending to write like a, a parable, a story that's that's interesting and easy to understand, you know, for children or, or even adults to grab hold of. Um, or if it just sprang from that from that inner desire that we as human beings have to be fulfilled, to have something better, to to have that peace that we're all longing for, that hope. But I know this, regardless of why those fairy tales were written, they actually follow a very true story. You see, you and I are that princess. Us men and women, we're that we're that princess that is in trouble. We've been locked away in a tower. We've been put behind walls. We've been put to sleep by a poisoned apple. We we find ourselves in bondage to something and we're waiting for someone to rescue us. We're waiting for Prince Charming. We're waiting for that one true love to come in, defeat the dragon, break down the walls, grab us, marry us, take us home to live happily ever after. Can I tell you something? You probably got that. You're probably following along. That's a very true story. What the fairy tales tell in make believe actually happened. You and I were held bondage to sin ever since Adam and Eve ate the fruit that they weren't supposed to eat. Sin into the world and through sin came death. And we've been longing for, we've been wanting a release. We've been wanting that, that love and that hope. We've been wanting Prince Charming. Prince Charming came, the one true love came in the form of Jesus Christ, who defeated the dragon, broke down the walls, came and, and loved us with an everlasting love and has promised to take us home to live happily ever after. Now, the truth is we got to accept his offer. The truth is we, hey, although we're locked up, we've got freedom to choose. So are you going to choose to go with Prince Charming? Are you going to choose to go with your one true love, the one that you were designed and created for? Or are you going to keep running off and doing your own thing? Yeah, Prince Charming has come, and he's coming again to take us to be with him to live happily ever after. Don't miss it. All right, chew on that. We'll talk to you next time.